Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. I just came across this article, and it is pretty disturbing. Pretty disturbing because it falls in line with what I and a lot of other people have been saying, that food prices are going to get so high that people will not be able to afford to eat. And it says here, food shortage st simulation predicts 400% increase in food prices by 2030. That equates to a 40% increase every year from now until 2030. And even though it's a simulation, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you understand this, but the computers that they use today, the AI computers that they use today, they're pretty darn accurate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. It says here, recently I wrote an article discussing the looming food crisis in the United States and the rest of the world. While it might seem like paranoia to some readers, the information provided in that article is very real. In fact, I'm not the only one that's been talking about it. Back in 2015, 65 people showed up at the World Wildlife Fund's headquarters in Washington, D.C. These individuals were international policymakers, corporate businessmen, academics, and leaders in thought. Their goal, to run a simulation of a world food crisis that would begin in 2020 and run to 2030. The press release of the event was published on the big AG Corporation Cargill website and revealed that the food shortage simulation that the decade between 2020 and 2030 would see two major food crises. During this time, prices would rise 400% of the long-term average. There would be a number of climate-related weather events. Governments would be toppled in Ukraine and Pakistan, and famine would force refugees from Myanmar, Chad, Sudan, and Bangladesh. Does any of this sound familiar yet? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does sound familiar. It's what many people have been talking about for the past several years. We are headed into a grand solar minimum. And those of you that don't like to hear the word grand solar minimum, ask yourself this, does it really matter? Does it really matter what it is that is going to cause food crises throughout the world? It doesn't really matter. I believe we're headed into a solar minimum. So be it. You may believe that it's global warming. So be it. The fact of the matter is, are you preparing for what's coming? Because it doesn't matter why, ladies and gentlemen. What matters is that it is coming. We are getting so many warning shots. But are you paying attention? Are you listening? Stock up, ladies and gentlemen. Stock up on long-term food storage. Get your pantries in order and stock up. Stop buying new cars. Stop getting fancy clothes. Start getting things that add value to your life instead of taking it away. It says here that in the simulation, one governmental solution was a tax on meat, another a global carbon tax. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter how much they tax or what they tax, we are headed towards a food crisis that will encompass the world, okay? By 2025, I feel that we will be hurting really bad. So stock up now. I know I keep saying stock up, but that's the only way that you're going to make it through this is if you have food to eat. Because if you don't stock up now on the food that you can buy today at today's prices, you're going to be forced to work a full day of labor so that you can get enough food for you and your families for that one day. Think about that. Climate hunger. Civil unrest and spiking food prices came together at the food chain reaction game in Washington, D.C. this week. Cooperation mostly won the day, along with WWF, the Center for American Progress, and the Center for Naval Analysis. Cargill was one of food chain reactions organizers. The company was represented in the game by corporate vice president Joe Stone. Over two days, the players divided into teams for Africa, Brazil, China, the EU, India, the US, 
international business and investors and multilateral institutions crafted their policy responses as delegations engaged in intensive negotiations. Of course, working globally turned out to be the most beneficial. Do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, working globally turned out to be the most beneficial. I'm not a conspiracy theory theorist, but I do know that I like that each country in the world is sovereign, meaning that they can make up their own minds and their own decisions to benefit their countrymen. The most eye-catching result, however, was a deal between the U.S., the EU, India, and China, standing in for the top 20 greenhouse gas emitters to institute a global tax and cap CO2 emissions in 2030. We've learned that a carbon tax is a possibility in years ahead, acknowledged Stone. But before we can consider moving ahead with a measure like that, we must study it and understand it much better. We have to avoid sudden market distortions and unforeseen consequences. If you guys hear a noise in the background, that's just my heater turning on, ladies and gentlemen. Stone said he was impressed with the complexity of the game and the second and third order consequences of some of the decisions that were taken. Take the meat tax Europe wanted to impose and think it through. What meat are you going to tax? Does that mean poultry and beef? or aquaculture as well? Where do you levy the tax? Where does the money go? What are the unintended consequences? Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to this article under the description of my video so you can read through it. Hopefully you'll read it more than once. This is telling me a lot of things that I don't think are good for us as a world. Think about it. One set of policymakers in the world acting on behalf of every country in the world. Where will it stop? I mean, right now in our country, right now in the U.S., there's plenty of people that are not in line with 537 elected officials or elected representatives, really is what they are, sitting on Capitol Hill making decisions that affect 330 million of us. 537 make decisions that affect 330 million of us. And here, this is telling us that the best route to take in the future is to allow a small group of people make decisions for everyone in the world. At least that's how I'm reading this. I hope that you guys go and read this yourselves. I'm just reading between the lines here. The fact is, we know there is an agenda for all of these things, food shortages, meat tax, global carbon tax. And if this health crisis has been anything, it has been the most helpful health crisis that ever existed. If you've been reading my articles recently, I'd encourage you to pay attention to what's being said. Self-reliance is about to become a whole lot more important. I have to agree with that last sentence, ladies and gentlemen. Self-reliance is going to become a lot more important. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a prepping channel, and I think that prepping is very important because it is the gateway towards self-reliance. So get your preps in order. That way you can start working on those things that will allow you to provide for yourself those things that you are buying now. For example, learn to grow your own food. For example, learn to fix your own things. Learn to mend your own clothes, etc., etc. All right, like I said, I'll leave the link to this article under the description below. I just thought that I put this out there because I think that this is really pretty disturbing. When you really read between the lines and you really look at what this is saying, it's pretty disturbing. And you know how things go, ladies and gentlemen. You know how the media acts. They start putting things out little by little, sometimes years in advance, so that they can get a population used to that idea. And something that was once ridiculous will one day be status quo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in today. Uh, I think that uh, this is an article worth reading. I hope that you're all doing well. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, 
the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.